Welcome back to the Crypto Arc. This is Jay. I'm here to give you the cryptocurrency news for the beginners. Now in this video, I have a lot of things to share and they're all very, very bullish news as well. But before I get started, I just want to say that nothing I say in the video is financial advice. So please, uh, use my research and look around it. You need to do your own digging as well. Now let's get started with the 48 Laws of Power. Extravagant words and gestures immediately raise suspicion. I want you guys to internalize that because there's a lot of scams in cryptocurrency. So if you're watching this, you probably have seen in my previous videos and if you look in the comments, um, there will be people commenting on it saying that maybe uh, this Thomas Gray person helped them create a lot of uh, Bitcoin and they make it look so real by adding more likes to it and then a bunch of people will make a series of comments making it look more legit now if it's if the offer is too good to be true guys just do your extra digging because a lot of people are falling for these scams and also I want you to take a look at this from the big black cock news <laughs> I'm just joking it's the BBC news some news anyways Christine Lagarde from the IMF this person has been convicted of like criminal stuff, probably doing some money laundering. And reason why I bring her up is because people like these are also the same people that are saying that cryptocurrency is highly used by criminals. And in the mean, I mean, like in the background, she's also a criminal. So she's basically talking about herself and her friends that money launder uh, using crypto. So I want you guys to understand that. And look at her. Look at her eyes. It looks like it's bulging out as if she's some sort of lizard. <laughs> so let's get some actual news. So Cardi Chain, pay attention to this protocol. Why? It's because it's one of those highly scalable protocols with a growing ecosystem. So they do have uh, very low transaction fees. They're very fast, very scalable and it's backed by a government the vietnamese government and yes they and their team is also coming from big techs like google as well like their cto came from google and they also have high highly educated people in their team as well now they created this uh, initiative to basically bring DeFi back and in the summertime similar to last year where DeFi was a thing and here are some of their hottest pools, Bico, Kai, BFL, and LTD. Uh, yes, their TVL or to total value that's locked in there is fairly low right now. So that tells you that you're in early. Now let's take a look at their yields. You see, over a thousand. You don't see the, these kinds of numbers with, uh, within the uh, legacy system banks or the old banks. You only get that kind of uh, rates in crypto. And if you're seeing this now, it's July 9th, 2021. And yes, these rates are only high because this is a very undersaturated market. So that's how early you guys are in if you're seeing this right now. So yeah, thank me by putting in, by putting that in the comments, man. Say thank you, Jay, for uh, showing us some really cool stuff. So, and keep in mind, these are not the only ones that are in the Cardi Chain ecosystem. There's more. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the Kai Dex and why you should be paying attention to uh, Cardi Chain a bit more. So if you look at the total value locked for this one, it's 15 mil. And look at the graph. It just gradually increases. And this is not a trading graph as well, so it's not going to make a correction. <laughs> That'd be funny, though. And yes, the daily volume has been steadily growing as well. So you might want to participate in these coins right now if you want if you want to be in early. Keep in mind that's not financial advice, okay? Look into these coins because some of them uh, it might not be in your flavor. You know, people have different uh, tastes when it comes to building their portfolio. So definitely look into these. And yes, Cardi Chain has more in their ecosystem as well, and more and more uh, developers from Asia are going to come and build on top of Kai. Cardi chain. Now let's take a look at Biko. Biko swap. 
apps. This is one of the, um, the apps on top of the Cardio Chain protocol. And for those that are not aware of Binance Smart Chain and some of their uh, coins, if you look, take a look at this interface, it'll be familiar to you. If not, just understand that this interface is very familiar to a lot of the different projects. And it's almost as if they hired the same development team to create this. But anyways, if you take a look, the APRs are still high. I mean, like even 60% gain over a year is pretty good, man. It's better than having 1% inside the bank. So definitely take a look into um, the Kai ecosystem because it's a very uh, undersaturated market. Uh, this is Cardio Chain stats. You can see right now it's close to five cents. Um, market cap, circulating supply, if that matters to you. To me, I'm looking at this like I, I put my money in stuff that I believe will last you know, like five to ten years. So I'll be picking on this five to ten years from now. So let's take a look at the yearly chart. So if you're someone like me, or I move in early. See, I moved in around two cents or so in early January. So, yeah, guys, this is an all bottoms party. That's how you get the most ROI. Now, I did do a raise around the 15 cents area. And to be honest, I did not sell. Uh, I am, I'm an idiot, <laughs> to be honest, for not selling. But you know what? We're still consolidating now and pro possibly moving. No, not, not possibly. I know it's going up way higher because we're not done this bull run. And also, it just, look, it just created a higher low. Okay? Now, uh, is this a good opportunity to buy in? Well, my your honest opinion, is it better to buy at 50 cents or less than five cents? Come on. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's how early you, you guys are to this market. Okay, and Cardia Chain is backed by the government or the Vietnamese government. So in terms of rug pulls, I don't think the this company is a rug pull. So definitely look into Cardia Chain because it's a very promising protocol. And if you like that information, guys, press that like button, share the information as well, and also subscribe. So that way you're notified of the next uh, news that I put out. All right, so this is another behemoth right here, Ethereum. Ethereum is the king of DeFi for a reason. So their deflationary EIP 1559 upgrade is not deployed in all test nets. And the thing about test net, guys, is that people buy the test net and when it comes to the main net, like uh, the news release, people will dump. So keep that in mind. And that is not financial advice. So they're, they're Alonzo Fork, not Alonzo Fork. A London Hard Fork is going to release on August 4th. Now I'm gonna talk more about this EIP business because it's very um, revolutionary, in my honest opinion. So they're gonna change the network fee to a base fee instead of using their first price auction fee. Now, for those of you that have not witnessed Ethereum's fees in its recent glory, people were paying like up to $800 just to do a transaction, which made it really hard for uh, small people, I mean like regular retailers, to basically participate in the like uni swaps or sushi swaps and basically acquire early early tokens and so lowering the fee to a base fee will definitely be good in terms of scaling it up now as to what the base fee is i don't know what that is we're just gonna have to wait I'm, and yeah i'll just look around do my own digging just to find out what it is and also another thing to pay attention is that it does have a burning mechanism which makes Ethereum a deflationary coin. And that is good because this is a high in demand. So if the demand keeps going up while the supply keeps going down, you know, the, the price will just go up astronomically. Now that is not financial advice. Actually, that's that's economics 101 right there. <laughs> but anyways, yes. Um, Vitalik did say that it is going to become ultrasound money and yes, um, Ethereum is that protocol that has a high chance of flipping Bitcoin and it is also second uh, highest in terms of market cap for a reason. And Chris Giancarlo also said that whoever controls the underlying protocol will basically control the state of money 
So if you look into Ethereum, the people involved around Ethereum, you will see that there's a lot of uh, sound money involved. So if you can afford an Ethereum, I highly suggest um, you know you keep it because it does have a very very promising future, especially with the Ethereum 2.0 upgrade, which is I don't know when that's going to happen. It's probably going to be be like next year, early next year, but don't quote me on that, guys. I don't entirely know. All right, moving forward. All right, so the regulation race between Singapore and Switzerland. So basically these two nations right here, they want to become the next Silicon Valley, basically become the main hub for any innovation. And uh, yeah, I think right now Switzerland has the upper hand because they have more startups there. But in terms of you starting your own company, these two places are definitely the place to go. Singapore has a very low to zero, um, they call it capital gains tax on crypto. So definitely look into that. I am not a tax advisor of any sort. Look into it. Switzerland also has a um, friendly rate as well. That's why they have a lot of startups happening in there. Now, uh, actually, let's look more into it. Let's we'll see which cryptos are involved. So in terms of Singapore, pay attention to Qcoin, Kyber, CoinGecko. CoinGecko and yeah, CoinGecko is not um, a crypto, or at least they don't have one yet. Anyway, Zilliqa, Engine, Aelf, Qtum, those are the ones to pay attention to as well. Now in terms of Switzerland, these are the cryptos, and they have more cryptos in their um, arsenal, and their resume. And yes, over 900 blockchains and cryptocurrencies are operating in Switzerland. And the amount of jobs that these crypto companies are going to have is basically, it's just going to increase later down the road. And if you're a coder, and if you have not looked into like the blockchain uh, open sources yet, you definitely want to look into it because there's going to be a lot of um, growing opportunities for you. Especially since in the new economy, blockchain is heavily involved. So if you have a kid or something, you know, train that kid in to like do hacking and stuff, learn blockchain. And what I'm seeing in Facebook also is uh, these ads for um, what I call it, these gaming blockchain companies. They, they basically have a course to teach kids on how to start their own games. So you might want to look into that as well if, you know, if you want your kid to learn the new economy. And yes, everything is going to transition into the new economy. If you don't, you know what? Robots will replace you. And that's the truth. All right, so legacy U.S. bank increases Bitcoin exposure via Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. So this news basically states that, you know, more uh, heavy institutions are moving into Grayscale or cryptocurrencies. That is definitely good news because now more big money is coming in. Now, this also gives Grayscale more whale power because now they have more influence when it comes to the market. They will definitely control that tide in a big way. And also, Grayscale still has that lockup period, which has not been released yet. And some sources are saying that it's going to happen around like mid July. And if they do release that lockup period, there is a high chance that they'll sell for take that profit and buy back on the dip. But that is not financial advice, guys. But yeah, keep in mind, they will control the market. And I do see the summer as just a consolidation phase. Now, I'm not saying that it's not bullish. Like the bull run is still not done. But the consolidation phase, it will be like volatile in a small range. But I do see it as a good opportunity to like you know position yourself, and also DeFi has been acting up again. Uh, a lot of these uh, DeFi projects have also been getting good steady gains, gaining like fifty percent to some of them are even doubling. So you might want to look into the Coin Gecko or Coin Market Cap to see which ones are popping right now. All right, so here we have more bullish news. So Twitter CEO is saying Square is building a Bitcoin hardware wallet. And that is good news because now it tells us that this payment platform right here, Square, will 
is moving towards adopting cryptocurrencies. And Square is heavily used by a lot of entrepreneurs as well as local businesses. And I know because I go to some of these uh, convenience stores to buy zigzags or frontwoods to, you know, to Yuna to get that greens. And yeah, that is definitely good for mass adoption wise because now more people, I mean, in the later future or in the near future, people are going to be able to buy, uh, or I mean, use cryptos as a form of payment. All right, so let's get to the last news. All right, Israel authorities order seizure of cryptocurrencies from Palestinian resistance group Hamas. So this narrative basically paints uh, a bad image for cryptos. Once again, um, feeding that narrative that cryptocurrencies are being used by criminals, uh, terrorist groups, this and that. But we, we understand that when it comes to the biggest money launderers, biggest criminals out there, it's the banks. They're the ones orchestrating a lot of things in the background. Now, in this uh, article, they also said that they found these guys through the crypto address and they traced it back to them. And that is a scary thing because in the later future, I mean, now in the blockchain, there's no privacy. People can literally find out who you are if they just get that address. And yeah, they'll just do your digging on you and they'll use AI to basically find out who you are. And also another thing to be weary of is the idea that someone like let's say some criminal might find out your address and send crypto there and just drag you along their, um, their demise. And in nowadays you're basically uh, guilty until you prove yourself innocent so keep yourself safe guys um, if you do have a big wallet or so hide them hide hide the keys and basically have a wallet that you can use as a burner in terms of like it's your main wallet for transaction but it's not really your main wallet for holding your coins and you should be doing that as well separating your wallets especially hardware wallets don't let don't let your wife see that you have a wife or your significant other <laughs> okay i'm not promoting that stuff but anyways yes um i'm just basically giving you guys news and the infrastructure of what's happening in the background uh in terms of this i am not scared at all when there's news uh there's negative news in cryptocurrencies that makes me bullish because why people are selling i'm buying their lows okay <laughs> I buy at the low and sell at the high. But anyways, that's all I have for you in this video. If you did like my information, press that like button. Also, if you have some comments, drop it down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And also press that subscribe button so that way you guys are notified and the next time I put out a, an updated cryptocurrency news. And yeah, that is all I have. Thank you so much for listening.